Okay, so welcome back to another big week tutorial. And in this one, we need to talk about this drum. So this is a new device that we get with the 4.1 version, new version of Bitwig. And uh, maybe nah, right now it's new, but you know, 2021, but maybe not so much in an ear. But uh, this one is a very simple device. So let me show you what I got first. So you can, uh, you know, listen. What I'm going to be using is some chords. And this work with chords, of course, because we are strumming, right? Different, we have several notes. So it's again, just pretty simple, pretty dull. And I'm using the OBXA because it sounds great. Okay. So again, you cannot argue that this is super dull. So I'm going to go in and just enable this. And I'm using, this is the, what we get from, uh, you know, uh, by default. So if I play this, you get something a little bit better. All right. So that's it. That's what, what we will do. Notice that we are playing four different notes on each chord and it will just one two three four just gonna go and strum all the different notes if you have three notes let me just go and start again notice it's just gonna do a, a strum of three because you only have three so think of this like like uh you know playing strings like putting playing a guitar you have uh, these four strings so you're gonna strum the four different strings that's pretty much how it works if you add 10 strings it's going to strum the 10 strings and just to you know just to show you this uh maybe gonna go maybe go smaller and I'm just gonna duplicate this to whatever it doesn't matter so i'm gonna go and go maybe here it doesn't matter so i'm gonna go and do some playing Ray, right, so great. Right, so of course, if you're introducing new MIDI notes and uh, the strumming, it's so slow that it will just, you know, not finish before you starting, uh, you start to play the new strum, uh, you know, that could be a problem. That's why you can go right here and change the timing. Right now we have an eight note, but if I go to 16 notes, it's gonna be much faster. Right. So what happens if I go faster? Right. Super, super good. You can go into into VARs, of course, milliseconds, triplets, dotted, dotted notes. So yeah, you can do all of that, of course. And at the same time, of course, you have this control, which means that you can go faster, you can go slower. So if I go up, it's going to go super slow. And if I go down, it's going to go faster. Right? So let's start again. Much faster. Not that fast. And default. All right. Okay. So again, so far, pretty easy to use, right? So then you get the steps. And right here, you know, we, we are getting to the confusing part, even though this is very simple to, to understand. So of, of course, if you think about this, since uh, this is about strumming, uh, when you strum a guitar, let's say, uh, you strum with your pick or your hand or whatever it is that you're using, up or you strum down, right? So that's the motion. You start from the upper strings or you start from the lower strings. And depends on when you're starting, of course, the pitch of the strings are different. So the sound is going to be a little bit different. It's still the same strum, still the same chord, but it starts on a different place. So this one, what it will do, it will do just that. So right now we are just doing one single strum, which is uh, kind of a, a striking from the uh, lower note and then going high. All right, to going to the upper notes is one, two, three, starting from the uh, lower, one, two, three, four. What happens if I start again and I do the opposite? I'm gonna go click this and now notice that the arrow, it's pointing down. Just gonna do the opposite. It's gonna start from the upper notes, the higher notes, and then go low. All right, so again, this, this is what it does. Now, of course, right now, what we are doing, we are doing one single. So this one, what you can do, you can have four different steps. And uh, the four steps, of course, this one is going to, you can uh, decide uh, what you want to do. If you're going to go up or you're going to go down. The the only downside of this is that you don't get any other kind of a dedicated control. I just wish this could be a little bit longer just to do some other, th other things. Um, but not just four, maybe, I don't know, something something else. Maybe not four. Four is just not a lot. And I'm going to go and I'm going to play it. And we're going to start from the beginning right here. So we're going to go down, then we're going to go up, then we're going to go up, and then we're going to go uh, down again, let's say. So I'm going to go and play it. Okay, let me just 
stop it right there. And I'm going to start again. And now we're going to start. And now maybe you're, you're noticing the problem that this has. And there we go. And the next one is going to be up and down. Right. Okay. So very cool, right? So, uh, of course, this one will react and notice that every time it's detecting a new a kind of a incoming MIDI note or new incoming chord in this case, it's going to move on to the next step. So in this case, I have three different chords. So if I make it a four steps, it's just going to, you know, not going to be good if I'm repeating the same chords. So maybe this one is a good idea to make it three steps. Now, every time I play, this one is going to go to the next one. Now, if I stop right here and I play again, let me just stop right there and I want to start from the beginning notice that if I start again this one will start on the second one so it's not resetting the position of the step notice it's starting on a, on a different strum so I don't know if that, that is a problem or maybe they just forgot to do the reset right here but in my opinion this one should reset every every time that you do stop or maybe just give us an option to change how this works because sometimes I'm, you know, maybe I just, I'm just using this and I'm just doing something. I just want to see how it sounds and I want to change the strumming and I do stop. And then maybe it's kind of a stuck right here. So I'm going to need to do play, stop, play, stop, just to go and stand right here. And it's a little bit annoying. It's just a little bit annoying. But it's, you know, besides that, this is just a, just a great, it's just a great plugin, uh, a great device. Okay, so that's what, it, that's what it does. You know, it's just pretty simple, just pretty simple to understand. Now, the next one is going to be the stride. And this one, again, it's a little bit confusing. But if I'm going to give you an example, I'm just going to record everything that we are doing right here. And if I do some playing, notice that this one, of course, this device, it's outputting the MIDI notes in the way we can hear the MIDI. So we get we get the, the, the strum. Right. So this one, what it will do, the stride, is, is going to pretty much allow how many strings per, you know, uh, per step, let's say, is going to play. So for example, this one is one, two, three, four. So we are hearing the first, the second, the third, and then, uh, and then the fourth. Now, if I say two, this one, what it will do, it will play one and two, and then three and four all together. It's like strumming two different two different chords at the same time pretty much and if i record this we can clearly hear and see what's going on so notice is the first one or in this case the first one and the second one because we are going uh you know up uh, up and, and then down is one and two and then one and two we are not doing one two three four uh, any longer and this is because the stride is two Maybe if I say stride three, this is going to just do a little bit different. It's going to be one, two, three, and then it's going to play the fourth. So I'm going to go into play, and that's what we get. And it sounds a little bit different. It's just, it's just a good option to have. Just to change this and see what happens. And maybe we can, we can change how this sounds and go back to the beginning, maybe. All right. So that's it. That's the whole device. I feel like I don't need to explain anything else because it's very simple. And uh, but this is great. You know, it's it's just one of those devices that are very simple to understand, very simple to use, and they give us good, good results. So for example, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm just gonna pretty much go to the clip and just duplicate it one octave up. Notice we are starting on A. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go right here. I'm just gonna drag all the way up right here and go to a, right? So we are just pretty much doing the same thing. But since this one, of course, is... And that is just a great sound. Very controlled, of course. Now, if I turn this off, that's the, <laughs> that's the original sound. And it sucks. And in context, if I bring something right here, you can, you can really not argue. It gives you something else. It gives you some, just a different sound. Now, of course... Awful. Now, of course, you can do a little bit of automation. Maybe some chords are going to be strummed and some other chords not. Right? So that, that would be a, a good way of using this, which is in a creative way. 
right? Again, just a just a great device. So now, of course, uh, at the end of the day, you just can go to the clip, to this MIDI, and do this drumming yourself. Because wh wh what it's doing behind the scenes is just very simple. But the trick is that sometimes you just don't know what you want. You're just going to lay up some chords right here, and you know that the chords are fine, and the progression is fine. But you don't know that you want to strum. So what are you going to do? You're going to go right here and just do... Uh, a different clip, a MIDI clip, which which is actually what we've been doing for ages. Go create a new MIDI clip and then do the strumming and see how it sounds. Or maybe play it live. Uh, yeah, you can do that. But if you ask me, this is just a very easy way of just getting the same result. Very simple. And of course, we get all the in-betweens, which is we can add modulations just to get different results. So, okay. So hopefully you learned something. And uh, remember to like, of course, and to subscribe if you find this channel useful. And remember to check Patreon because I upload everything uh, to Patreon way before I do it right here on YouTube. Because on YouTube, I can just do one video a day. And on Patreon, I can upload whatever I want. So, all right. So, see you on the next one.